Hi everybody, this is the first video in a series where we'll be taking a look at how to use Autodesk Motion Builder to combine animation motion capture takes from the Mixamo library into longer extended character performances rather than just short clips. Ultimately, we'll use these animated characters in a Unreal Engine virtual production set so that we can create a longer animated scene uh, rather than just be limited to individual clips from Mixamo. There's a few steps in setting up, so let's get started. We'll start here in Mixamo with logging in. And once we are logged into Mixamo, the first thing that we really want to do is make sure that we're able to choose our character. We want to make sure that um, we pick the character that we're going to use in Unreal Engine and download that geometry and skeleton in a T pose. Uh, so this is really seems to only be available when you choose your character here in the character panel before selecting any animations. So we're going to need this T pose character first. I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, bot character. Of course, this, it works with any of the characters in Mixamo. So I'll go ahead and uh, choose download. And in here, we want the FBX binary and we want the T pose. So we would click download and we'd get that file and name it appropriately. So I have already downloaded this, so I'll go ahead into Motion Builder here and bring that file in. So I'll go ahead and open and look for that. I believe that is the YBOT uh, file. Here it is, YBOT T pose uh, is what I ended up naming it. And we're going to right click and choose discard all animation and uncheck both of these takes. We're not going to need any animation informo information. We're just going to need uh, the actual models and skeleton and such. So we'll go ahead and open that. And then here is that robot and its skeleton. Now, in Motion Builder, there's a few different display modes. You may have started out in normal mode and just see the character with the uh, bones are just kind of sticking out of the fingertips. Control A toggles between the different modes. So Control A uh, shows right now I'm doing uh, mo models only, so the skeleton is hidden. Control A again now toggles me to the x-ray mode, and here I can see the skeleton inside that model. And Control A once again, that gives us normal mode where the model is covering up anything uh, inside it, uh, but you know the joints are still there and they're sticking out. So I need x-ray mode to essentially we want to characterize this character so that we can um, apply it to the story mode. So we're going to choose x-ray so we can see the skeleton. And then over here down in the right hand corner we're going to go to asset browser and click on characters. And then finally there is an icon here that's called character. And we want to drag that character right onto the hips of our T-Posed Mixamo character. So click and drag onto the hips, release, and we'll get a little pop-up saying characterize. Click on characterize, choose biped, and now this uh, model is set up as a character in Motion Builder, and this allows Motion Builder's story mode functionality for us to uh, set up an animation track and be able to mix different animations together. Uh, once this is all set up, it's good to make sure that we don't end up conflicting with other characters if we ever want to use other characters in Motion Builder. So we'll go ahead and expand the Characters tab. Here it is. It's just plain character. I'm going to right click and rename, and I'll just call this YBOT underscore C-H-A-R character. And I'll also add a namespace to make sure that this is separate from anything else. So I'll just right click and remove namespace. And I am going to add a new one, and we're going to call this YBOT. I'm going to use all capitals, and we'll say OK. All right, so now we have YBOT car. And in the scene, I'm also going to do that with everything that's in here. So I'll just select all of these, right click, add remove namespace. Remembers our YBOT from before. I'm going to select that and say OK. All right, so now this is all set and good to save. File save as, and I'm going to call this YBOT dash chr underscore vo1. So this will 
let me know that I've got this file that is the character of the Ybot. It's characterized, and this is my first version of that. And again, we'll right click and keep discard all the animations. We'll keep take one, well, we can uncheck that, and save. All right, so now that exists, and now we don't have to do those steps anymore because we saved this new version, Ybot Characterized V01. So if I were to start fresh in Motion Builder with nothing, I could just go to File, Open, and this time choose my Ybot Character V01 and open that, and we'll, uh, well, we have no takes, we have no animation, open that up, and there's the character, and it is characterized and ready to use in the story mode. So that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll take a look at using the story mode to add animation to this character in Motion Builder. Till then, have fun.